Before modern art was introduced, women were often depicted as a lesser being than men. They were often sexualized and degraded as objects in a male-dominated society. Beginning in the early 20th century and becoming more and more prominent as the decades went on, the representation of women and their role in society as independent, respected human beings continued to rise among artists. In particular, the following works by well-known artists are examples that strove to fight for or emphasize the stance of women and the role of gender and sexuality that had taken over art for so long. To start off, this work emphasizes the sexualization of women through a male artist's imagination and how those thoughts are implemented in his work. Egon Shields, drawing a nude model before a mirror, created in 1910, is just one of the many of his nude or semi-nude drawings of women portrayed in awkwardly contracted poses to convey distress. Shields made eroticism one of his themes and achieved an independent anti-classical style in which his jagged lines emerge more from a psychological and spiritual feeling rather than from the aesthetic application. This piece is a representational work based around sexuality and gender. The artist, a man, is fully clothed while the subject, a woman, is completely nude. The woman is posed in an erotic manner. This suggests an empty, distressed spirit. Sheil references the common theme of model and artist while constructing psychological tenseness and explicit sexuality. Shiel lived a short and deplorable life during which he was arrested for seducing an underage girl. Once he was arrested, the police discovered hundreds of explicit pornographic drawings. These social problems for Shiel are implicative of his style, subjects, and the emotions present throughout his work. This next piece goes against the ideals of Scheele by empowering gender fluidity. Claude Cahun was a Surrealist-inspired artist working in Paris. Her photographs played primarily on the ideas of transforming and transcending herself. She is shown in her 1929 photograph titled Self-Portrait with a silk-wrapped shaven head in women's jewelry with a mask looming behind her. The use of the mask allows her to experiment with different sides or genders of herself and suggests that she is hiding something. She uses the theme of a divided self to further explore her gender ambiguity as well as personal identity. She separated herself from female gender norms of her time. Cahoon consistently took on duality in her identity, portraying both male and female traits, which was certainly ambitious and avant-garde in modern art at that time. Another ambitious work of art, Black Venus by St. Fowl, is painted polyester sculpture made in 1967 that portrays femininity through exaggerated curves of the breast, thighs, and arms, along with a confident yet playful stance. The rotund, colorful artwork that is Black Venus seems to communicate a sense of confidence and carelessness for others' harsh judgments about their physical attributes. The artwork stands out because of this aura and that the fact that most previous Venuses, the representations have always been a slim, white, female figure. Saint Fowl is poking at that notion by creating a curvy, darker version totally different from the norm. Venus of Willendorf from ancient times is actually a much closer representation when compared to St. Fowl's sculpture, having a fuller body type. Nonetheless, St. Fowl makes much more intentional marks along with attention to color choice, scale, and position. The role of gender and sexuality in modern art is loudly heard through this work. Not only does it call attention to the women's body confidently, 
It does not possess the sexual characteristics or come-hither gazes most art depicting women have done so much before this. Black Venus shows independence and self-love while keeping a cheerful energy. These qualities, along with St. Paul's message about the confidence and diversity of women, are what make this sculpture an important piece in representing the depiction of a woman throughout art. This last print certainly draws attention to the representation of women in the art world. The Gorilla Girls are an anonymous group of feminist artists formed in New York City who made their debut in 1985. This group of women wear gorilla masks when in public to protect their identity. The reason to remain anonymous is so that society will focus on the message of their work rather than their personal self or art. The Gorilla Girls go by names of influential female artists including Kathy Kollowitz, Frida Kahlo, and they protect their identity and further emphasize the feminist role they play through using these names. One of their most famous works is the poster titled, Do Women Have to Get Naked to Get into the Met Museum? This poster could be seen throughout New York City in various public places, including sides of buses as advertisements. The bright colors and interesting image on the poster make it hard to ignore, which is exactly the point. I say interesting because the artwork features the famous work by Ingres, the Grand Odalisque. Being a classic symbol of female sexuality throughout art history, the Grand Odalisque copy sends a powerful message while wearing a gorilla mask with the statistics of female representation plastered beside it. The main focus of the Gorilla Girls is to open the public's eyes to the representation of female artists in major exhibitions and museums. They bring light to the shocking amount of nude or semi-nude depictions of women made by male artists that have made their way to fame while many female artists do not receive the equivalent recognition or representation. The Gorilla Girls have acquired a portfolio of 88 posters representing feminist ideas since 1985 and continue to create more today, carrying on their fight for justice in the male-dominated art world. Modern art has brought gender roles so far since the days of objectifying women. The nude woman is no longer just a sexualized object, it is being used in art to empower women with no intentions of sexuality at all. Through the hard work and the dedication of many artists, it has successfully become the norm for art to challenge gender stereotypes and the role of men and women in society.